first, those who were not present yesterday, it's for them. And even uh, to for those who are, you know, simultaneously typing out with me, uh, you will get uh, you will get some kind of confidence and you will feel that satisfaction that, okay, yeah, I'm able to type in Python. So, you know, just start typing out print two plus three. That's five. So those who were not present yesterday, it's for them and even a revision for others so that you can even get a, a satisfaction of typing out code in Python. So that's where we are starting. So as you all can see, here we are not mentioning anything like uh, INTA, input A as uh, two, and uh, INTB, take B as three, and then uh, print in bracket addition of A, uh, A plus B, where you will get an output of I. So this go to finds, uh, five lines of code of any other language like C, C++, Java has been compressed to just one line, which is so simple and so understandable by everyone. So even if a 10 standard student is coming here and seeing this code, he won't go in, uh, uh, what I can say, uh, confusion. He won't feel confused. It's as simple as that. You just are, you are just printing two plus three. Okay, and the solution is five. Okay, similar goes with next print 44 into three. You will get the multiplication. Addition multiplication is done. Print 33, uh, 35, let's say. Divide by five here you can see it's 7.0 okay why because python focuses on giving precision so the it has not mentioned just seven it has given it at 7.0 it means absolute seven okay uh then what else we can do is okay we haven't done subtraction print uh 67 minus 26 yeah, 41. So addition, subtraction, multiplication, division is done. But in division, there is a twist. So also, while doing multiplication uh, for the power, I mean, for raise to, like uh, to get uh, answered in uh, the power of some uh, number, we are supposed to do it as four raise to two. So here, two stars, means raise to okay so it would be 16 so four star through two would be eight and four double star which stands for power so it's 16 four raised to two okay anything you can do it as five raised to five that's the answer <coughs> okay moving on to the next thing print three, I'm sorry, print, okay, three divided by five. So here the answer has been given as 0.6. As you can see, uh, the uh, like where we saw this, it has definitely been given in precision. So why you can see here 0, 0, 0, 0 after 0 0.6 is because we have, uh, by default, it's given in integer form. So to get, if you, you remember what we had seen yesterday. <coughs> so if you remember, uh, the value was like 0 0.666666 up to 16 digit. So 16 digit because two raised to, two raised to four, it's 16. And every code is run in processor in the form of, uh, it goes in form of nibble. So to count it in proper way, it's given up to 16 digits. Next thing would be to get more precise value. Print 2.0 divided by 3. Got it? So when it was just 3 by 5. Or we can do it like 
you know just to have the similar kind of example print 3.0 divided by 5 oops okay yeah because if you divide 5 by 3 the answer is supposed to be 0 0.6 and again further zeros so it won't take more memory to mention further zeros okay here you you are seeing precision up to 16 digits but here why you are not seeing is if you try to divide 3 by 5 the answer you get is 0 0.6 and further zeros and those zeros are nothing but just consuming unwanted uh, you know memory so python doesn't allow you uh, the system to consume unwanted memory so here zero matters as you all know before the digit before the point zero matters but after the point zero doesn't matter as such so that's the reason it's not counting these further zeros because python doesn't want the system or the computer to you know uh, uh, store unwanted values or un unrelevant values so that's the reason it has just mentioned as 0 0.6 if we are doing it let's say print to mod 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 yeah or let's say 22 mod 3 the answer is 1 yeah so three sevens are 21 and mod is used for the remainder okay so three sevens are 21 the quotient is 7 and remainder is 1 so that's how it's given let's say print for mod 5 so here you will get answer as 4 because if you try to divide 5 by 4 your quotient is 0 and remainder you will get as 4 okay another thing is I hope you all are typing out with me simultaneously. Uh, let me check the screen. Okay. Yeah. Mm. What would be the next thing is print two double slash three. Oops, I didn't complete the braces. Uh oh. Control D. So yeah, these kind of issues are occurring. You are just supposed to type out Control D, which means that you are out of the Python shell right now. So again, I'll type out Python three. Oops. There we go. So yeah, it's print two double slash three. So what double slash indicates is <coughs> quotient. So here, mod, uh, mod stands for remainder, as you all know. And in Python, the question is mentioned in double slash. Okay. So let's say, print 2.0, um, double slash 3. So what do you expect the answer could be? As you can see, we have taken here both the values as integers, but here it's in the form of float. So for the more precise value, it will be given as 0, 0.0 as our uh, input value was in the form of float. So if you all know in C, C++ or Java, we have uh, run programming. I mean, those who have done or even those who haven't done it. Uh, let me tell you that uh, any kind of programming language goes for the most precise value. So here it was just two and three, both are integers. So the output was in the form of integers only. Here the output, uh, I'm sorry, the input was in the form of float. Okay, so that's the reason it will go you the most precise value that is in the form of float only. If we type out uh, input in the form of double, uh, you know, and the other input in the form of let's say float, so the highly preferable output would be in the form of double. Okay. So here one was integer, other was double. Uh, I'm sorry, float. But still the output was given in the form of float. So that's it. Uh, yeah, moving on to the next thing. Okay, till then I, I want to check if everyone is anyone is having any issues. Or all are good to go. 
yeah mention in your chat box okay not understand for race to two concept rithik has said no ma'am i'm good to go no issues yeah rithik has asked me that four star star two concept he didn't get it so rithik four star star two simply means that four race to two means four into four okay so it's just like uh, what we generally do uh, in raised function okay so it's a power two is two here is power so four to the power of two is considered as four raised to two so that's why instead of taking uh, uh, it as four into four it's given in form of four star star two it means four to the power of two the answer is 16 so if it's four to the power of 10 it means 4 into 4 into 4 into 4 up to 10 times so it will be simply written as instead of writing the whole 4 4 4 4 4 into 4 we can write it in the form of 4 star star 10 it means 4 raised to 10 okay so all right everyone is good to go so i'll again i'll again you know start the start sharing the screen yep <coughs> all right I'll tell you now how to take the input. So what we have done till now is printing out everything. And we have, you know, uh, broken the rule. Generally, what happens in every programming language is till the date we have learned. Or, uh, yeah, in every kind of programming language, the language starts with hello world. But we have started it in the uh, form of addition. So, yeah, we can also do hello word program here i'm sorry Hallie. <laughs> hello word yeah that's it as simple as that you don't have to take any kind of input form and uh, precise it precise its uh, uh, you know length and everything you are just good to go by typing print whatever you want to see in the output and that's it you will get it in the output immediately in the second line that's how Python works. And that's how the smart, uh, smartest thing it is. Uh, yeah, okay. Next thing we would type out is now to take an input. Input, then again, we will put it. So why I have mentioned here, you know, double inverted commas is because it indicates that we are putting some string inside, okay. So hello word, you all, as you all know, it's a string. And it means, string means it's a, a set of all kind of uh, alphabets and symbols. So here you can see space also. So if you want to type any kind of uh, sentence or anything, you can just put it in the, for, uh, in the double inverted commas. Uh, any kind of sentence or uh, it could be, let's say you have to put some password. So it has to be in double uh, inverted commas, which gives it as a string. Okay. So again, input, enter a value. I'm sorry. Yeah. Don't put enter, okay? I mean, this much of enter, entering is enough. Put any value, five. Okay, that's it. Your output has come as five. As simple as that. So, here input is an expression and value is a sentence. Enter value is a sentence. So, there are two parts in an input sentence. First, is an expression like we are inputting something we are taking some input so input is considered as expression whereas this whole thing i'm sorry this whole thing is considered as sentence the kind of input we want to put okay so yeah then what else let's say you know start try, typing out something as let's say data equals to and I'm taking it in the form of list. So I'll be discussing with you how list and uh, uh, other data types are in Python. Uh, so 
it's like strings are there, lists are there, dictionaries are there, tuples are there. So everything I'll be discussing with you further. But right now, just to give you a short uh, ex uh, example of an input value. So we can literally type out data instead of, you know, taking it as input. We can literally type out data as, let's say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what has happened here is we have taken a keyword as data and we have these many values in data. And what this square braces are indicating is it's a list. Okay, so there is a list which has numbers from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These many are the entities in the list. Comma is, you know, just uh, uh, splitting out the numbers of list. It's just differentiating the numbers of list. So we have five elements in, the, in our list, starting from one to five. And data is the name of the list. Okay, so I'll be doing a magic here now. Let's do test equals to data. Mm, what should I do? One, two. Print. Test. Before going for the uh, for this day, let me tell you what I have done. If it's going bouncer to you, I've made a list of five elements. Simply in a data by taking a list name as data. So data consists of five elements and test is the another uh, form of uh, what I can say entity I have taken where I've put the values of data. And this thing, what one is to two is that I'll be explaining you after getting the output. So what I've done is print test. So the value of text that is data in braces one is to two we'll get it in our output two. So what it is, so two is the second value. Okay, one is to two means we have, uh, so data, the whole amount of data, that is the whole five elements of data are not copied in text, okay? Just one is to two. I mean the whole data's second I uh, index has been copied and which has been shown here. Okay, just to tell you it in simpler way, I'll do test equals to data. Okay, and print. Oops, print data. So what's happening here right now? So as you can see here, the value of taste was two. And what Python is doing right now is it has taken another test, okay where it has copied the value of data. I mean, the value of data, it's a, at same as test here. And after, I'm sorry, not printing data, after printing test, let's check what value we get, whether this one, I mean this two, previous one, or another one. See, it has overlapped the value. It means the previous value of test, that is two, is not being showing here. It's showing the brand new value of uh, the or the content of test here. So as you all can see, the value of taste has been changed to the uh, to the new amount, as you all can see here. <coughs> Sorry. All right. Doing the next thing, let's take an example. Uh, just a sec. I want to I want to know quickly whether all are able to solve it or is anyone facing any kind of issue. Type out immediately yes if you are getting anything or if you are not getting anything just let me know. Yes. I just got one yes that too in private message. Yep. Okay. I'm getting the results as expected. That is good to hear. Yeah. 
rest all mia jab kushag mg ravindra rest all people okay all right we are good to go then i'll start the next part okay let me share the screen again oh yes no issues i'm getting the results great so print test this thing is done now let's start typing out an actual program in python uh before that if you feel that this whole thing is looking pretty messy so what you can type out simply is control and l your screen is clear magic <laughs> it's not a magic <laughs> this thing you can see by scrolling it up so if you are missing out anything just scroll up so you will get an idea of what we have done earlier but yeah just to get a clear screen we have just typed out control plus l okay and you have got a clear screen uh so yeah these shortcuts you are supposed to remember as long as you you keep you know typing out and uh, uh start practicing python on daily basis uh you will remember it very soon like control plus d to exit from the python shell or control plus l to get the screen clear you will get to learn all these things uh, you know slowly slowly there are more things like this which i'll be uh, explaining or sharing with you as as soon as uh, you know we keep on doing the further sessions so yeah i'll just start typing out n1 equals to input enter a value enter so enter a value whichever value you want let's say 5 okay so why we are not getting the output here is because we haven't shown print we have just taken the input we have not told the system to show us the output which is shown by typing out print so if we print type print n1 i'm sorry n1 we got the value of n1 that is 5 so here n1 is 5 now let's say n2 equals to input enter another value okay so another value would be let's say 7 got it so i'm not doing print n2 because uh we know that a system has taken the value of n2 as 7 now answer equals to n1 plus n2 so what we are doing here is uh, addition of n1 plus n2 and it will be given in the form of answer as an output to us so we would have done it let's say as a 5 plus 7 okay let's say print in bracket as we have done earlier print 2 plus 3 and we get the output as 5 okay but what if the values are supposed to be taken from the user what if we get a question that take the values uh, from a uh, user as uh, the input values let's say i am the computer and i'm asking you to give me the input value so for that case i'm sorry for that case we have to write it in this format to take input from the user so the input from user is 5 for n1 and 7 for n2 and if we were if we would have you know it's just simply typed out 5 plus 7 we would have just got the output from our side only okay and say equals to n plus n2 next thing is print oops sorry print answer so yeah i guess you all are familiar with this thing right now so to get an input we have we just have to write input and under inside that whatever thing we want in the input so here and uh, to get an output we just have to write print so it's as same as you know uh, the thing we used to do in c and other programming languages where print n slash n and everything we were supposed to write print n here 
printer fear i'm sorry so okay tell me if anyone know that uh, knows why the answer is not in the form of 5 plus 7 that is 12 and why it's showing 57 can anyone please tell me in chat box yeah control L, control l not clearing screen in windows both are string values okay smart people i have got okay yeah i'll be telling you what to do in windows to clear the screen before that talking about this it is concatenation exactly so they have just okay my students are pretty smart <laughs> yeah so it has just done concatenation concatenation means to add one string with the another let's say my name is rutuja and kulkarn so if there is no space in between if i say that a equals to rutuja and b equals to kulkarni so it will simply add the whole thing and make it as one one whole string okay one particular uh, what i can say entity so here they have done the same thing it has taken five as string and not as integer okay so the five is taken here as integer so by default what python does is if we tell it to take value as input it takes it in the form of integer uh, i'm sorry string so here five and seven are taken as string and by doing the plus of it the addition of it we have got the concatenated value of pi and seven that is 57 now what to do to get a actual value of by adding five plus seven so what would be the actual value so to do it we just simply have to do is n1 equals to int input <coughs> enter number or you can do enter value anything you're writing here doesn't uh, gonna uh, you know make changes in your program because this thing is just going to get showed up in the next line so whatever you're typing out here don't worry that okay i have missed this uh, colon here or i've uh, written value in the previous thing and here number doesn't doesn't matter as such it's just showing you in the next uh, in the next sentence what you have typed out in the first line okay so oops i guess i've done oh yes i didn't complete the braces here i just completed one braces so again control d python 3 and then yeah uh, so yeah uh, as you can see i just put the upper arrow the upward arrow you can put to get the previous inputs you have put in the in your list okay or in your system and to get the further you just have to uh, you know uh, click on the upper and lower arrows so you will get what i have typed out here each and everything since from this to this okay bottom uh enter a number yeah enter a number i've completed both the braces so let's say n1 equals to yeah and and what i'll do here is i'll simply make the changes in it as n2 and n2 is wow too big <laughs> all right so here what we have simply done is this whole input okay the whole input we have got it in the form of integer so just by typing out int uh, so the data type now is integer so simply we have typed out int to get convert the the string in the form of integer so here we have got two numbers as n1 and n2 then i can do the same thing answer equals to n1 plus n2 print answer 6043 so we have got addition of these two numbers i hope you you got it it's as simple <coughs> okay moving on to the next thing so here you can type out in any way so here we have just done addition you can do it in the same way so uh, this format is especially for the purpose of taking inputs from user i mean whichever inputs user want to give we can give it in this way and if they have just told you 
any of the uh, you have got any kind of question like add two numbers in Python first number is 12 second number is 13 so you just have to put print in braces in square uh, in normal braces print 12 plus 13 and in very next line you will get output that's 25 it's as simple as that so if you all can see we have got our output of addition of two numbers that too by taking input from user side in hardly one two three and four lines okay so in between the lines are output lines okay these lines are output lines but the actual input lines we have put it just four so in just four lines we have got addition of two inputs and the inputs are taken from user side all right doing the next thing now uh, i'll be teaching you print formatting uh, after the session uh, you, what you can do is you can simply uh, type out the similar course and do a whole kind of calculator thing like addition subtraction multiplication division let's say instead of putting here an answer equal to n1 plus n2 you can do addition equals to n1 plus n2 subtraction equals to n1 minus n2 multiplication equals to n1 into n2 division equals to n1 by n2 okay and then print addition subtraction multiplication division and you will get all the answers okay as simple as that so there in that way you can simply create a calculator in python so yes next thing we are moving on is control plus L, print formatting <coughs> so what print formatting here is so let's write uh, what we can write down is first first name equals to Rituja enter so now my name Rituja which is in the form of string it is stored in first name okay then comes last name equals to okay and last name again is stored Kulkani it's stored in last name Next thing what we are doing is print first name, comma, last name. And one more thing, here you can see I have not put any space, okay, in, uh, in first name, comma, last name. So it doesn't matter even if you are putting any space here or not, unless and until you are putting it in your, uh, uh, you know, uh, inverted comma. So if here I am... Uh, putting any space in between it will get impacted because it's taken in the form of input okay but here we are showing just output so it doesn't matter whether you have put any space in between or not so yeah Rituja Kulkarni my name has been printed here automatically it has given the space now what if I I want to remove the space you know this thing I have highlighted in white color so what if I, I want to remove the space between Rutuja and Kulkarni? So that I can do using print formatting. So instead of typing it out, I'll just again go up. Okay. First name, last name, comma, SEP, that is separator equals to. So what SEP is separator? So separator means this is the first entity. First name is, last name is the second entity. And separator is this gap between these two entities okay or even if we have let's say middle name here if we have if we would have put middle name here then the separator would have worked here as this then my middle name then again one space and then again the uh, surname okay so separator is nothing but the space between all the entities of any string that you are using so here first name last name separator we have put here as nothing so in these two inverted commas there is nothing so what we will get in output as just see you cannot see any space here similarly what we can do is if we put separator and let's say any sign here oh uh, yeah so what we'll get here in output is rutuja star kulkarni so in separator you can put any kind of symbol entity any kind of number digit or alphabet anything and you will get it 
instead of uh, this space in your output. So here the space was this. So we have got star here instead of the space. Okay. So, you know, just to make few further changes in the end moment, if you are running out a whole bunch of huge program and then if you, if you have to make some changes, so it can be done in this format. Okay. It's as simple as that. Just print anything which you are supposed to print and put separator and anything in that separator, whatever thing you want, and you will get it in your output. Moving on to the next thing. <coughs> so, uh, one more thing I want to tell you all is, so in Python slash N is already assumed at the end of every line. So here you are not, you, you don't have to put, uh, what I can say, forcefully slash N. So, as you can see, what we used to do in other programming languages to, uh, we used to do it as printf, blah, 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 and then slash n, just to indicate that move the cursor to the next line. So slash n used to indicate that after completing this, after giving this output, this slash n used to indicate that cursor has been moved to the next line. Okay, but what, generally happened in Python is the cursor has already been moved. As you all can see in all these examples, you're not getting these three, three uh, uh, symbols immediately after this. Okay, you are getting it in very new lines. So in Python, slash n is by default there. But what if you want to remove this slash n? What if you want to see the next line or next sentence in the same line? Okay. So there, what we are going to do is again, the same thing, this whole thing. And instead of separator, we will do here is end. Okay. <coughs> let's say, let's put some space so you will get to know. So whatever thing we have writing down here inside this end, double inverted comma, this or this it will get implemented in our output. Okay. So here separator means, as I told you, it's in between these two entities, whereas end means at the end of this whole input or output we'll be getting. So there it is. The whole input, it has been printed as Rutuja Kulkarni. And as you can see here, we have got one space and the second line is immediately starting out here, right? So if you want to start a second line immediately, you can simply put end in your uh, in your print line. So put end, and that's it. You are good to go with the second uh, second sentence in the same line. Another thing is, so yeah, I'll go to the next line, or you can type out in the same line itself. Print the typical hello slash n what oops yeah it's it's right okay i'll just yep so what i've done here is i've taken slash n in between so let's check what it does okay i guess i'm supposed to put a space here Mm -mm. What is the issue? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me check it one more time. No. Okay, I'll just check this one out once again. Because after putting slash in, it has to go in the very next line. Uh, I'll just check and get back with this with this thing with you okay soon uh we'll keep this thing on hold for a while and yeah just instead of wasting the whole time on this thing i'd love to continue with the further thing but yeah i'll surely uh get this thing solved all right mm -mm. okay another thing is how to do the print formatting in a particular format okay Let's say print. Yeah. Oh, 
now let's see what am i doing and start typing out simultaneously okay mm, let's say what symbol should i use hash all right then comes again this then another symbol should be dollar dollar or a single dollar anything then again this that's it dot okay before moving on to the further thing let me tell you what i have done here this thing curly presses are indicating that whatever uh, output or input will be typing out further it will be added into this and this symbols are nothing but or you can uh, uh, symbols are nothing but the spacing between the, these two outputs like this output this and this so as i've told you you can put anything or you can simply put some space in between anything would work okay so any number anything would work so here then format this is nothing but formatting of a sentence or forming a sentence then what i'm writing here is let's say cyber frat okay comma python comma training what you'll be getting here right now oh i guess again i forgot to complete the process yeah let me clear the screen okay another press oops control shift plus 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 python format training okay what am i doing is nothing but <laughs> minimizing and maximizing the screen or zooming in or zooming out i by mistakenly uh, zoomed it out so that's why i just simply zoomed it again just by typing out control plus shift and plus sign okay and to zoom out you just have to type control and minus sign okay so python training and okay i'm sorry again yeah cyber threat so what has happened here is the first thing <laughs> the first thing cyber threat okay has been put in this okay this first string second string has been put here and the third string has been put here okay so as long as you want to change so you must be thinking why do we need to do this nonsense this this is not making any sense but trust me when you will be using this kind of uh, you will be programming further you will get to know where we will be using this uh, this kind of uh, you know what i can say uh, sentence forming or formatting so here here what we have done is we have get we have got this kind of input like this input in the form of this okay so that's why it's called as format okay we are making this input in the previous format uh okay so what we have learned till now is uh addition subtraction all these basic uh, operations then we moved on to the further thing where i told you to uh, do the uh, i told you about the precisions later on what we discussed was how to take integers uh, i'm sorry how to take input values and i told you that input value is in the form of strings and we discussed about how to you know convert it the input format from normal string to integer just by putting int then we did the addition of two numbers by taking input from the user side then we did different format and now what we are doing further here is huh, precision controlling 
So what precision controlling is? So what we have seen right now, precision, precision, Python is so perfect in its precision. So what precision controlling here is, uh, if there is any sentence, uh, any input we are getting, and we want that particular input in some particular format, if, whether it's in digit or flow. So to make it more precise, we do precision making. So if you are applying for any good company, so in their interview questions, they will definitely put at least one question on precision controlling. So in any language, so in other language, it gets pretty difficult to type out, you know, uh, code for the precision controlling, but in Python, it, it becomes very easy. So just type out rent. <coughs> percent D I'm sorry uh -oh. print percent D and you are not supposed to put comma here okay percent oh let's say five even five or fifty five anything five what's happened here so we have done precision in the form of digit so here we have got an input as 5 and it has been printed as just as 5 in the form of integer what we are doing further is print <laughs> let's say um, person 3d and person 5 so now what would be happening further is we have got two spaces here so what three is indicating here is space okay like how much digits you need so it's basically the space five means zero zero five but we haven't mentioned anything here before the uh, before three so that's why it it is giving us an output at space space and five okay so what generally it indicates is we have output as five okay and we are getting it in three digits so three stands for number and d stands for digit we didn't mention anything here so we got it in single digit format that is five we mentioned here three so we got it in the form of three digit format simply if you put here as zero three will get an output as 005. So here our output was just in form of, the form of space phase 5. Here it was 005 just because we put 0 here. You can put anything here instead of 0. Like any other value or any other symbol. You will get the output in similar way. So here by replacing 0 with any other number, you will it will be considered at space. Okay. Uh, 3... <coughs> Three here it stands for number of spaces or you know number of digits we are having in our output. Five here is nothing else but output. And D is obviously the type of data type. So we can get it in the form of float also. So what we would be doing right now is uh I guess we have done this, right? So, print. Zero, three, one, six, F. Percent. Uh, any number 34.87 uh, 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 okay so line one and model not all arguments converted during string formatting so what's the issue here occurring is here not all the numbers are converted into uh, so the type error has been shown here so the what this error indicates is, uh, as you can literally, uh, what I can say, see here, they are mentioned that not all the arguments covered during string formatting. So it's not in the same format as we can see, this has been shown in the form of float. 
and here we are seeing this thing output thing in this format why this is occurring here is because uh, we have taken three here it means the whole number of string what three indicates here is the whole number of output uh, the complete uh, number of digits we need in output and we're 30 4.4087 this thing consists of four digits if you can see okay that's the reason it's not able to find out the whole answer in proper format what we will do simply here is and what point six here indicate is uh, the number of digits after the point okay uh, yes I'll be back I guess there is some water leakage happening inside I'll just be back in one second just a minute All right, extremely sorry for the disturbance. Uh, yeah, so moving on to the, I just hope I'm audible. Yeah, moving on to the further thing. What we'll be doing here is, let's say, uh, we'll just remove this point and this floating point also. Oops, what has happened here? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, we'll just remove this and this thing also. I am, oops, 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 oops. We are supposed to mention this. Yeah. Incomplete format. Okay, my bad. See what you can see here, what are the errors here is I forgot to put the, uh, you know, percentage sign here. And here I forgot to put the, uh, all you, as you all can see in complete format. It means I forgot to put D here, any kind of format, data or float or integer, any kind of form, format I forgot to mention. And it's simply just telling me that I forgot to mention this. As soon as I put it, so we have got an output in this format. Okay. Next thing we would do here is, let's say, print <coughs> mm. Okay, I guess you all are clear with this thing. Like why we didn't get our answer here is because uh, our output word was of this size, you know, three. Three may indicate was the size of output, the number of digits that are supposed to be in output. This was already in float and this was exceeding. Okay. Moreover, points after this were in six. So this output should not exceed than the, uh, like this output should not exceed than the number of digits we will be having in the output. Okay. So that's the reason it didn't give us any output as such. Let me clear the screen. Now what we will be doing is print percentile um uh, like zero eight point what i can take three now i'm taking the value in the form of float okay let's check out more uh let's say 53.67 the same thing okay now we have got the value we could have put three here as we have put earlier like in previous i'm sorry let me scroll up so here okay if you can see in the uh, in the thing i have uh, typed out right now i mentioned here eight instead of three okay 
and the output was lesser than it. This thing was lesser than it. That's why we have got our correct answer. So what has happened here right now is, eight means the size of this output. So what is the size of output is Z1, 2, 3, 4, this, this point is also considered as one entity or as uh, as a size of output. Okay, so it is completely, this is not seven digit output. It's actually an eight digit output, but this point also matters a lot. Without point, our answer is just going to be, you know, unprecised. So here point matters a lot and that's why it's also considered as a part of output. So eight means the size of output, okay. 53.67 is output. Why it has mentioned zero here is because we have, uh, why it has mentioned zero here is we have taken these zeros as you all can see. If we would have taken it as just eight, our output would be like this. See, there is, there is nothing here, just space. But that doesn't mean that there is no value. Value is definitely there. As I told you, what Python does is it doesn't store, uh, oops, it doesn't store unwanted values or unwanted data. It tries at its, its base to, you know, save the uh, uh, memory and save the values in possible way as it can. So that's the reason it didn't mention anything, just because we didn't mention anything. What else we can do here is, and yeah, what point three indicates here is after point, we have three digits here, okay? So it's simply dividing it in two formats. So point three means after this point, we have three digits. And before this point, or including this whole, we have eight digit, where are these three digits are after the point, okay? Let's say what we can do here is four. for better understanding. So check this answer and this answer. What's the difference? Okay, we just have put four instead of three here. Okay, what does indi this indicate is that we have the output as eight digit output. The size of output is eight where the output is 53.67. All you, as you all can see here is, the actual value of output is not changing. They have not done it as 536.7 or 5.367, anything. They have simply added zeros to its left and right side as per the size we have mentioned here. So as per the size, it was eight. That's the reason it has shown us eight digit value. Uh, and, Point four means after the digit, after the point, we have four digits here. Okay, so that's how we have shifted it from uh, this to this. As simple as that. Uh, you can try, you know, practicing few sums on this because believe me, in the competitive exams, uh, in basic exams, especially of programming, you get this kind of questions or on precisions. Okay, so make sure that you are very good with precision controlling. It's not that hard. Now what we'll be doing here right now is converting the precision controlling in the format type. So remember the format we uh, did before, like cyberfrat and uh, two hashes and Python, then another symbol and then training. So we will be using the same format for the precision controlling thing. <coughs> type out with me simultaneously, print. Mm, let's say anything we can put print hash hash one curly braces oops uh oh yeah dot format now i hope you're getting that we are you know merging two things simultaneously this precision formatting and this format output formatting that like the sentence thing we have done earlier if we can see where, 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 mm -mm, here. Oops, not here either. Yeah, here. So this thing 
we are merging with this thing. And the output you're gonna get here right now is in this format. So format, um, it would be, mm, 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 mm. Six point three. You can take anything as I'm just typing out. You can literally take any output just for your you know your better understanding and practicing. So let's say it's as D three nine six seven. Yeah. So what's the output? Okay, I should not forget putting another braces. Yeah, complete. Great. So here, again error, okay, print and another format, EOL while scanning string literal. Oh yes, if you can see, I haven't completed, <laughs> I haven't completed this thing. Let me complete it here. Got it. So Python is so easy that it immediately let us know what kind of error. So I remember uh, sorting out or you know figuring out errors and debugging used to be a very hectic thing in C, C++. It's very easy in Python. Got it. What happened here is these two hashes, as it's in this format, and the as our output is in this format, two hashes has been mentioned here, have been mentioned here, and or format the further thing is here as output what 6.3 here f here is 53.67 as i told you six means number of size of the this thing so continuing from 53 onwards like this five onwards this is the size 53.670 it's the sixth size uh, it has the size of six. Okay, point three means after this digit, after this point, how many digits are there? Are mentioned using three. F stands for float, as we are using it in the form of uh, float value, and fifty three point sixty seven is the output. So we have just merged these two formats and you know made it in this format. So you will be getting questions on this. Practice. Try to practice these kind of questions. I I hope whatever you are typing out right now, you are saving it in your system, so uh, or recording whatever prefers to you, and you know start or even as you are a Cyberfire Plus member, you will get recording of these videos also. So whenever you are missing out something or you are not able to get anything, you can just go through these videos again and again too, for your better understanding and practicing also. So. What else we can do right now here is print. Oops. <clears throat> oh, where it is? Oh, this point. What I can do? Five F. Let's say. And the comma. Any any input you want to give. Let's say fifteen point. Uh, 89 okay oops again i yeah mm -hmm. yeah what you are seeing here again i'm repeating for the one last time for your better and best understanding is our output is here in the form of six digits now one more thing uh, what we can see here is this thing has been mentioned as 06 okay and still it's exceeding here <coughs> it's more than six if you can see why this is happening can anyone tell or should i tell our output is here is 15.89 point five is because the number of digits we are getting are five after a point here zero six we have taken so 06 is the value of width. That is the whole value of width or the size. It has to be lesser than the number of digit we are taking. Okay. So six is lesser than 0 0.5 and hence it breaks the rule. 
okay so this thingy has break, broken the rule so in case you have not gotten it let me tell you it one more time what we have seen earlier is if you would have taken this value as if uh, this was 6 which was more than this value okay let's say this was 15.89 and instead of 6 if we would have taken 3 here we would have got an error in our value but why it has been shown here correctly is because 6 is greater than 0.5 okay that is the value of width is greater than the number of digits after the point so this thing breaks the rule in python you can you know mark it as star or note it down in your notes that this thing breaks the rule where what we did earlier is let me try to tell you one more time so i guess in a previous example i guess we did it it was here somewhere yeah see as you all can see here yeah so three here was a number and 0.6 means the six was greater than three hence this was an error okay but here if five is lesser than six that is the actual width of this output is greater than the uh, than the number of digits after the point then it's going to break the above rule that is the error and it will be giving us the output in this format that is 15.89 and further digits number of digits after the point okay as simple as that so i guess you all understood this let me know if there is any issue you all are facing or if there is any i'm sorry if there are any queries you are having we are still remaining with one more last session but i just want to know in chat box whether you have understood anything use hello slash and word <laughs> Okay, I guess I put wrong slash that time. Do backslash. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know what? So that's the uh, what I can say. Uh, you know, we misuse of Python. I just put a forward slash, and that's the reason I was not able to do it. Because I literally, uh, while using Python from and practicing on Python since so long, I literally forgot that slash and was. Uh, not forward, uh, not backward, and it was forward. So that was the reason, I guess. Yeah, that I could see a drawback of Python because if you, I would have written or typed out program and see how to clear screen in Windows. I'll just check. Can you try running point three point f? I guess I have. Kushang is Kushang has messaged me privately that can you try running print uh this thing okay i'll just share window so that you all are able to you know see his question so yeah as you can see can you try running print this 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 i guess i have run this yeah but still for your satisfaction let me do it 15.89 F. It's lesser than five and still showing the answer, I guess. Mm -mm. yeah got it here you all can see like if we compare earlier percentile was not there okay okay i guess i missed percentile here no see percentile was here if you all can see okay acha here percentile was not there my bad seriously all right no issues I hope you got this thing clear. So here I was missing percentile and that's the reason I was not able to uh, run it in proper way. But here we have run it successfully. So moving on to the last thing. 
as of now i'll just tell you what are the <coughs> data types in python as we all know there are three kind of data types integer float and string so integer means any kind of number that is 1 50 100 anything float means anything in the form of uh, uh, you know precise value in form of points so let's say 2.56 here 53.67 15.89 all these uploads where that string is in the form of uh, it's it's the uh, set of uh, alphabets where you could get and it would consider as string so we will just type out uh, we'll just start uh, you know discussing about how uh, uh, writing or running data types in python would work in our next session but i just because we will be running out of time if i start it right now because it's pretty lengthy so in our next session we'll be discussing about it it's not that big we'll cover uh, it shortly but i i guess you all have understood what we have done today and yeah thanks for resolving my issues that reminds me that i still am a learner and yeah there is again a scope of you know learning for everyone in every single aspect so yes thank you so much for clearing my doubts also like my mistakes also and as of now that's it i hope you have you all have understood so just to give you a quick recap we did some basic arithmetical operations in python then we did uh, how to take input values from the user in python and how to you know run a program in it we checked how the list has uh, takes get takes uh, takes in python how to take list in python then what then yeah how to separate or uh, remove the separation from two entities or two strings or how to put another symbol instead of space in two entities or two strings then how to get uh, how to start the very next line of program in the same line we have seen that also then again the formatting as you all can see then here precisions <laughs> where i guess i did two to three mistakes then and then yeah and that's for it for today uh, i just hope you all like the session and yeah in more in the next session we will be discussing about you know control flow statements and some more fundamentals of python where we'll be discussing in detail about what data types are and you know uh, i'll tell you in short how to make a string I mean, we, we do have sessions for strings and list and, you know, its functions and its types. But I'll just give you a short idea just to let you know how it works in short.